गुड मॉर्निंग जोत कौर एच डी आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ऑन द टॉपिक पोस्टमार्टम वेट रिटेंशन विद सोशो डेमोग्राफिक एंड ऑब्सटेट्रिक कोरिलेट्स अक्रॉस सेक्शनल हॉस्पिटल बेस्ड प्री लिमिनरी सर्वे इन इंडिया तो पोस्टमार्टम ओबेसिटी इज बिकमिंग अ ग्लोबल पब्लिक हेल्थ चैलेंज एंड पोस्टमार्टम वेट रिटेंशन यूजली रेंजेस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू थ्री के जी with up to 20% of the women retaining more than 4 kg weight during the first year post delivery and this postpartum weight retention is a strong predictor of obesity in later years of life it may even predispose women to an increased risk of chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes mellitus dyslipidemia cardiovascular diseases etc and in subsequent pregnancies it may lead to adverse outcomes in women also such as gestational diabetes mellitus pre eclampsia cesarean section congenital anomalies and stillbirth ample evidence is available globally however indian data is limited regarding the retention among women weight retention among women during the postpartum period so the research question was what are the socio demographic and obstetric correlates that might be associated with postpartum weight retention in indian women attending a tertiary care hospital and our objectives were to assess the magnitude of postpartum weight retention in indian women and to assess various factors that might be associated with postpartum weight retention so it was a cross sectional survey that was carried out at department of obstetrics and gynecology aims new delhi 505 postpartum women were recruited via convenient sampling technique and we recruited women belonging to different postpartum periods that is first 3 months post delivery then women from 4 to 6 months post delivery and women from 7 to 12 months post delivery the inclusion and exclusion criteria inclusion criteria women belonging to in the age group of 18 to 45 years and they ha have a singleton pregnancy willing to participate and able to communicate in either hindi or english language however we excluded women with perinatal death known cases of endocrine disorders history of long term steroid intake suffering from chronic diseases and having any kind of psychological contraindication so it was a telephonic interview schedule and the domains assessed were socio demographic profile obstetric correlates and anthropometric parameters so the results were as follows socio demographic profile majority of the participants they belong to the age range of 25 to 35 years they resided in metropolitan areas and belong to the joint families they had the higher education qualification of graduate and post graduate and they belong to the middle socio economic groups obstetric variables majority were preemie pairs they had undergone the normal vaginal delivery and they had exclusively breastfed their infants for first 6 months weight related parameters the mean pre pregnancy bmi was 23.2 plus minus 3.9 kg per meter square and the mean gestational weight gain was 11.12 plus minus 4.89 kg however the mean present bmi it changed to 25.4 plus minus 4.44 kg per meter square and the mean postpartum weight retention was found to be 5.29 plus minus 5.13 kg then we conducted the stepwise multiple regression analysis and there we found out that women belonging to 1 to 3 months post delivery their postpartum weight retention was found to be associated with socio economic status the higher the socio economic status the higher was the postpartum weight retention and also the postpartum weight retention was found to be significantly and positively associated with gestational weight gain in women belonging to 4 to 6 months post delivery their postpartum weight retention was found to be significantly associated with type of family women belonging to joint families they tend to retain more weight even women having the higher education qualification were found to retain more weight during their postpartum period and gestational weight gain was still a strong predictor then women belonging to 7 to 12 months post delivery their postpartum weight retention was found to be positively and significantly associated with gestational weight gain so socio economic status in our study was found to be positively associated with postpartum weight retention higher economic groups maybe they have the higher affordability to energy dense food they have easier access to house helps 
so this may lead to excessive calorie consumption and restricted physical activity during the postpartum period women living in joint families tend to retain more weight maybe they are bound to follow the traditional cultural beliefs of the family such as restricted physical activity eating for two or having a high fat based diet gestational weight gain was a strong predictor of postpartum weight retention and similar results are available in ample in literature primi peris mothers were found to retain more weight however the results were not significant in our study and breastfeeding was not found to be associated with postpartum weight retention maybe we would be needing a more robust methodology to record data for breastfeeding so i would like to conclude by saying that it is crucial seen overweight and obese postpartum women for weight management strategies and we should use the evidence based indian guidelines by these should be adopted by healthcare professionals in their routine clinical practice and longitudinal studies via face to face interviews must be carried out so this was one of the limitations of our study that it was a telephonic survey but now our team has undertaken such longitudinal studies where we are recruiting postpartum women and we are carrying out face to face interviews and collecting information about their weight status as well as other anthropometric parameters and body composition analysis as well for concrete assessment of postpartum period so take home message that since postpartum period is an important phase of a woman's life because excessive postpartum weight retention may predispose these women to obesity related chronic diseases and since gestational weight gain is one of the strong predictor of postpartum weight retention so weight management counseling must be initiated from pre conception period and it should continue throughout the pregnancy till the postpartum phase and awareness about weight management it should not only involve the postpartum women but also their family members especially in our indian culture the role of mothers and mother in laws is crucial so we should include them also so that they may not keep on imposing the traditional beliefs that might not hold significance in today's scenario thank you everyone